So the last talk of the session is about cryptanalysis of uh, round reduced skinny. Um, the authors are Sadeq Sadegi, Tara Mohammadi, and Nasur Bagheri. But the authors couldn't be here, none of them. So uh, Hadi is going to present the paper. Thanks for the introduction. So as I already mentioned, uh, uh, one of the other one wanted uh, to come, but for some unexpected, uh, unexpected uh, reason, unfortunately, she couldn't come. And then very recently, I was asked to present the paper. So actually, we escaped in the airport when I was coming. So I hope that I can cover all of the details. But anyway, this presentation is about uh, crypto reserves of uh, Skinny. So first, uh, I'll introduce a brief description of Skinny. And then uh, I'll present a new zero correlation linear crypto analysis of Skinny. Uh, which is obviously one of the, uh, which is obviously the best zero correlation characteristic that has been found for Skinny. And then uh, uh, I discuss MILP model for Skinny64 and the searching related to Iki. And finally, uh, I conclude with the results. So, uh, yeah, it's good to be the last uh, talk. Uh, a lot of things uh, have been introduced by previous uh, talks, but uh, Skinny was uh, introduced at Crypto 16. It has different variants based on the length of the block and also the length of the tweak. We have different uh, uh, variants uh, that. Yeah. Uh, that N uh, denotes the uh, uh, block size and T is the tweak size, and T can be N, twice N, and 3N. And respectively, we call them TK1, TK2, and TK3 version of Skinny. Uh, and uh, two main versions is uh, when N is uh, 16 and uh, 128, uh, the block size. So of course, uh, as usual, we can, uh, like AES space, AES like uh, cipher, we can present the whole state as four times four square. Uh, it has uh, each round has uh, five uh, operations. It consists of five operations. First, we have uh, uh, S boxes. S boxes are applied, and then we have add round key, and then uh, tweaks uh, uh, tweak key are uh, added here in the first two rounds, and then we have shift row like AES, and we have a, a mix column that is a simple XOR between the uh, sets, and. Uh, the tweak uh, actually uh, the tweak is updated uh, like this. We have a permutation each time it uh, passes the permutation and then add to the first two uh, set, uh, two rows. And if the TK and, and if you have the TK two, we have also LFSR. It means that first we apply permutation and then the first two rounds also pass an LFSR. And for TK1, when the size of the tweak and the size of the block size are, uh, are equal, then we don't have LFS. Okay, uh, zero correlation linear uh, uh, is already introduced by previous uh, work. So we have a linear approximation like this. And then for the linear approximation, of course, we can uh, consider the probability. It means that the probability that this term would be equal to zero. And uh, then the correlation is uh, twice of the probability minus one. And if the correlation would be exactly zero for a cipher, then we have a distinguisher for the cipher. Uh, for skinny, we can simply find the non-zero uh, zero correlation characteristic. Uh, it's uh, depicted here. If we have, for example, one cell uh, active here, it means non-zero mask for the input and another non-zero mask just for this cell, then we can simply this, uh, that uh, it's not uh, possible because in the middle, uh, for example, if we look at the first cell here and here, uh, from one direction, uh, it should be zero, the mask, the inner internal value of the mask should be zero, while here it should be non-zero. So it means that we have a zero correlation characteristic for nine rounds. Uh, it's very straightforward to obtain uh, this uh, characteristic. Uh, so, uh, but if you want to add one more round, for example, we uh, want to add from backward or 
forward in the middle of the cipher to have 10 run zero correlation, then uh, we can see that uh, there is no contradiction. So if we compare this essay to this essay, there is no contradiction between them at first glance. And what is done in this paper that the, uh, the others uh, uh, have uh, observed that if we consider these uh, two cells and uh, they should be zero mass, they should have zero mass. And if we go to the details of the rounds, then we see that, okay, if we don't want to have a contradiction, then they should be zero. And after the shift row, they are in the same mixed column, in the same column, and after applying mixed column, then this cell should be uh, a non-zero value. And if we compare this state to this state or this state, then we can see there is a contradiction. So by this nice trick, we can extend uh, zero correlation, well now zero correlation for skinny for one round. And then the authors uh, uh, utilize this uh, zero correlation characteristics to apply uh, key recovery attack on skinny for different versions. And uh, they could uh, uh, actually uh, attack 14 and 18 rounds for these uh, versions. Uh, in what follows, I focus on uh, impossible uh, related uh, to key impossible differential. First, uh, uh, let me recall the using MILP model for finding impossible differential uh, characteristics. So, uh, at uh, 2011, by Moha and others, it's shown that the problem of finding uh, optimal uh, differential characteristic or linear approximation, linear trail can be uh, actually converted to the optimization uh, uh, problem model in uh, in MILP. And uh, in MILP, we have a set of uh, inequality, and also we have a function that we want to have find uh, the solution such that this uh, function get the uh, minimum value. Uh, so how we can model finding uh, impossible differential by uh, MILP? Uh, so it's simple, we should consider all of the bits in the, uh, before the S-box and after the S-box. So we present the, uh, imp, uh, the sets, uh, the bits of the sets before the S-box by XI0 uh, to XI63. And similarly, the output as YI0 to YI16. And we denote uh, each bit as zero or one if uh, there is no difference in the, between them and in the, between the states on that bit and one if uh, it has difference. Uh, to describe uh, the active or passive boxes, we need to uh, uh, consider uh, another uh, value like AJ for any S-box. So we have four bit to four bit S-boxes. And uh, if the S box is active, it's uh, one, and otherwise it's zero. And to have to describe this like MILP in a MILP model, then we have uh, these equations, and then we want to have uh, our aim is to find the solution for the minimum of the uh, value of this uh, summation. And then what, as usual, it is done. Uh, they consider differential and all of the values that uh, this probability uh, is larger than zero. It means that delta x can uh, uh, go our uh, this box to uh, delta y. And then, uh, of course, we can uh, consider, uh, instead of considering the whole space, we can they uh, actually uh, uh, compute each uh, representation uh, of uh, convex hull with uh, sage mat. Uh, and uh, with respect to XOR, uh, it's already well known that it can be modeled uh, by this equation by using another uh, one more uh, actually variable like D. And uh, A plus B plus C should be equal to 2D. And it's a description of A, X, or B to C. To C. And of course, we have some kind of uh, impossible events. For example, A, B, C cannot be 0, 0, 1, because 0, X, O to 0 is not 1. Uh, OK, this uh, model uh, for the first time, I think uh, it was uh, proposed by Sui to use the uh, MILP model to find impossible differential characteristic or zero linear uh, uh, trail. 
uh, but uh, it was applicable on just uh, small uh, small uh, boxes with, uh, spaces with a small size. And then uh, in follow-up work, uh, Sasaki and others uh, propose another method that uh, also includes uh, applying, it can be applicable on spaces, larger spaces like eight times eight. Uh, the technique uh, is uh, to consider input and output differences uh, fixed, and um, MIP uh, uh, search whether or not uh, there are propag propagation from input to uh, output difference, and if it's not possible, it's invisible, then it concludes that it's, a, uh, it's an impossible uh, characteristic. So uh, the authors uh, apply the technique on skinny, by considering different different scenario, uh, we can consider input value, or after the S box, we can consider this state. Of course, we should we should take into account the uh, tweak key, and uh, we have also output. And the results are uh, shown in this table. So the best uh, result for a skinny TK1 is for 13 rounds, and uh, for TK2 is uh, 15 rounds by considering these uh, differences. Uh, so, uh, based on the uh, uh, results that I just uh, showed, uh, uh, they could find uh, uh, characteristic which is uh, one round uh, larger than all of the well-known previous works in impossible uh, setting. And then uh, it's used to uh, uh, actually, yeah, it's, for example, the, it's the uh, picture of the uh, characteristics that they have found for 13 rounds of a skinny and N. We have a contradiction in the middle. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, and uh, also, but yeah, so the, so, Maybe the color is not very clear here, so they consider a fixed value here and fixed value here, and they, they show that for 13 rounds, over 13 rounds, it's impossible. For 15 rounds, it's a bit uh, more complicated. Uh, actually, uh, they consider uh, these states, and uh, what they found is that a bit uh, complicated. So M, N, P, Q cannot be any value. It should be actually holds in these equations to have an impossible characteristics. And uh, all of the values are listed here, so it means that totally we have 15 different uh, impossible characteristics, but uh, when you fix the input difference, then the output difference cannot be anything on that uh, very specific value. And uh, of course, uh, for uh, Kirikawa, we have some problem that I will discuss later. I will uh, say what they did. But uh, then this, fi this uh, 15 rounds uh, used to attack to 23 rounds uh, skinny N2. So for Q recovery, as usual, we have a, a nice framework. Uh, we have impossible differential in the middle, and we add some rounds in the beginning and some uh, rounds at the end. And then we guess uh, the involved key in the uh, last round and the beginning round and then based on the uh, number of, uh, actually, the probability of the uh, filtration and uh, from the end and beginning, we can compute the time complexity of the attack. Uh, but uh, what uh, I mentioned that the 15 rounds impossible dif uh, differential characteristics that has been used is very specific. It means that if you have specific value in the input of the characteristics, then uh, the output is a very specific value. So totally 15 different values. So uh, uh, from forward and backward, what they did is that uh, instead of uh, doing this in 15 different uh, uh, parallel uh, uh, methods, they consider a general uh, structure, and uh, finally, they, uh, when, whenever they uh, reach to this state like this, then they save this value for the guess key. And then finally they can compare uh, the, and do the same for the backward and then compare when, for which specific uh, values they have impossible uh, uh, event and then they could, uh, they can of course uh, eliminate the rank key. 
So, uh, yeah, this is the results for Q recovery. If you look at the results, uh, the uh, the time complexity uh, uh, the, the time complexity uh, is slightly better than previous uh, noun attacks, but uh, the memory is notably decreased. So from two uh, to the 124, it's decreased to to uh, to 78, which is notably uh, less than uh, previous one, and also. Uh, from here, 56, uh, it's decreased to 49. And uh, if I can find, yeah, here, then 112 is decreased to 97. So the memory uh, is decreased notably. Yeah, uh, uh, sorry again if uh, I didn't go to the all of the details. Uh, actually, I didn't have enough time to prepare myself, but thank you anyway for your attention. I guess you'll be willing to answer questions, or? Yeah, okay. at least I can try. Okay, sure. <laughs> Question? Okay. So, let's thank the speaker again, and enjoy your coffee.